So you've connected a device to your PC via a USB port, but Windows doesn't recognize it. What now? Before you assume the product is broken, there are several USB troubleshooting steps you can take. First, disconnect the device and then reconnect it. Check that the plug is inserted correctly and that the cable is intact. If that doesn't work for you, connect the USB device to another USB port on your computer. If it works there, the previously used USB port may be defective. Otherwise, try these steps ahead. Number 1. Update Drivers If it doesn't work even after that, you need to look at the latest drivers for the device connected to the USB port. So, you can do that by two ways here. Right-click on the Start menu, select Device Manager and search for the connected device under USB controller. Right-click on the device and next, select Update Driver Software. However, this method may be a long one, so we recommend you to try Advanced Driver Updater which can scan the computer for latest drivers automatically. Once done, you can update all the drivers in one go and feel relaxed because all the drivers are actually updated. Number 2 what you can try is you have to uninstall the device. Now if updating the connected device's drivers doesn't solve the problem, uninstall the drivers and install them again. For this, go back to the device manager, right click on the affected device and select uninstall device. Now disconnect the USB connection of the device. Restart your PC and reconnect the USB device so that Windows automatically reinstalls the drivers. Next you have to verify power management. Open Device Manager by searching the term on Windows 10 search bar. Now find a dedicated category for USB ports called Universal Serial Bus Controller. Tap the arrow on its left. Find USB Root Hub option. Open the Properties tab by right-clicking on it. In this window, head over to the Power Management option for the USB Root Hub. In this window, simply uncheck the box that allows the computer to disable the USB ports. Repeat the process for other USB root hub options if available. Save by pressing OK and restart the computer. Now your USB should be functional at all times. Next is to disable fast startup. If you are using the fast startup feature on your laptop or desktop, it might be preventing the Windows operating system from detecting hardware changes at the time of boot. To disable fast startup, open the power options on your Windows OS. You can find the power options when you right click on the windows icon on the lower left section. Scroll down on the power and sleep window and tap on additional power setting option. Here you will find the boot options under the power button functionality. Tap the second option from the left panel of the window. Now you can disable the fast startup by unchecking this box that says turn on fast startup. Save the changes and close the window. After that, reboot your computer. And last is to turn off USB Selective Suspend options. The USB Selective Suspend is yet another feature on Windows 10 that disables a particular USB port on the motherboard to save power without affecting other USB ports. You can turn off this feature to see whether it's causing problem with the USB port or not. For this, head over to the power options as mentioned earlier. Open the additional power settings. You will see a certain plan for power management on your desktop or laptop. Tap on Change Plan Settings to make the changes. Now tap the link that will redirect you to the Advanced Power Settings. Here expand the USB settings and you can change the state of the USB Selective Suspend feature. Open the drop down menu and disable the feature for both battery and plugged in power modes. Now your USB port should be active. So that's it for today guys. We hope that we could have resolved your USB problems. For more such interesting videos don't forget to subscribe to our channel.